Good evening, everyone. My name is Ran Shubair. I'm currently a senior at Sharjah American International School, and I'm reporting to you live from my bedroom headquarters. So, as you already know, the coronavirus has been spreading faster than ever lately. And it's extremely dangerous that many countries around the world have gone into lockdown mode to try to control this issue. With schools remaining closed, nations being under quarantine, and many people being out of work, it's easy to let negative feelings and thoughts get to you. But if you're feeling afraid, you're not alone. My job here is to help heal your boredom and help you stay positive. So here are a few things you can do to stay sane during this troubling time. This quarantine could be a great opportunity for you to start a new hobby. For example, try learning a new cookies recipe or start reading the book you've been putting off hold for a while. You can even pick out a few board games and start playing with your family. And if you're missing your friends, then you can easily meet up with them virtually by different video call apps. This way, you and your friends could be connected and stay in touch. For many people, going to the gym was a form of therapy for them. But just because your gym is closed does not mean you, you have to stop working out. You can simply join an online workout class and exercise at home. If you're feeling lazy, then you can just grab a bunch of snacks and binge watch that show or movie that your friend has been recommending. Moving on from that. So, as the pandemic continues to spread, calls are being made for most people to self-isolate, to stop spreading the virus. But for those people keeping us safe, healthcare workers, including doctors, nurses, paramedics, and others, self-isolation is not an option. So during this challenging time of uncertainty and stress, I think we all need to take a moment and thank those brave souls who are sacrificing themselves to save countless lives during this pandemic. As a result of their hard work, more than 100,000 people across the world have recovered so far. Isn't that just amazing? Right now, the stakes are high and there are multiple challenges to face. With only little information, no second chances, and a limited supply of protective gear, the medical workers are still tackling the coronavirus disease no matter the obstacles they have to face. In some cases, some of the hospital staff have even lost their own lives in the effort to protect those of others. Isn't that just crazy? But this proves how brave they are. So thank you. Thank you for the sacrifices you make every day and especially during this confusing time of uncertainty. Your dedication, commitment, and courage deserve our deepest gratitude and admiration. Your service to patients is saving countless lives and making thousands of differences. We could not thank you enough for your hard work and your commitment. It is people like you who are making a change for our future. So again, thank you.